So guys, Son of Beast here. This is the only one that I'm just about to be finishing up. For most of the time, I just did day one, which is the back uh, chest and triceps. Then two was legs and shoulders. And this one, now, this video here, this will be showing you of day number three. And I'm going to be showing you how to do some, um, with some strengths for all kinds of, um, some back and some biceps. So as you could notice, I just did some back so far. Um, I was pretty able to do uh, to finish this on up so I can do it at least as quickly as I do it as I, as I can. But unfortunately for right now, I'm just going to be showing you uh, how to use it. So once I uh, once I tell you uh, what will this uh, workout machine use, I, this will be the back and this one will be the biceps. So uh, with, uh, with the with the clean muscle here, like a bicep here. This is where it was. And a triceps, that means it that means it, it's in the back area. For that time, let's take a look and see let's see what the first exercise for the back and the biceps on day three. Is that purple got heaven to keep me popping and checking God? I gotta represent Lord, I gotta represent instead of dropping to the level I keep copping all the checks. Stay on top of all the rest. Okay, first exercise. This is what I'm gonna be doing right now. This one is called the the chest pull down machine. As I just uh, mentioned early, that the that the pull downs looks like it's like a if you pull down something, and for this time it's um it's not like you push it down. It's pull down. Like, as you've seen on these, as you've seen as other um, other workers are like are exercising the uh, their weights of this machine, but I'm showing you what to do this right way. So. A lot of people noticing how this is happening about the uh, about their back. Once they do this, they do it like like this way, and not just come back up. The back of your spine may not be very good to uh, to hold it up where it was, but once you uh, pull tilt it backward, this one may be very very strengthful. But that time, that's a little more uh, difference between this way and that way. And now, as you can see, I'm doing this bar. So I'm holding onto the bar. Just watch the grab hands. And so once you have this all lined it up, you'll have a perfect uh, height order. As you, as I pull down, I'm just going to uh, pull this leg down, go straight down, and then and then lean. So you want to make sure it's on the chest. You don't want to go too super down because unfortunately, you're not going to have a better uh, better uh, exercise in your body. It will be way too low for you. You could easily cause some injury on the back of your spine. So I'm going to be doing right down here, and then come back up. Now, once you do it, try to keep it still. Don't just go. Don't just hurry up your time. Just try to take more time, and then you, and then you do it again. And then you can do another set for 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 another 15 or anything, just including. I'm just wondering right now if I can do uh, if I can do this machine. And after when you're done, all you do is just slowly lift it up. You see, you're almost there. Just pull it out, nice and steady. And by the end of that, you will finish it. One more stretching, and then you come back up and you finish it where it was. You leave it there. Just don't let, just don't yank it and let go because the machine, for this part, the weights could drop, could suddenly break. We don't want that to happen. You'll have, you have to pay for that one too. Here's what the next exercise should be for the back. Okay, this next exercise, this is gonna be the next one. This one will be the hammer curls. So, I'm gonna tell you uh, what the hammer curls looks like. I'm just, I, I slide back with, the, uh, with this one. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you the right direction. Now, when you do the uh, hammer or hammer curl dumbbells, um, it's kind of like when you do some curls, like you lift it up with your weights. You want to make sure your back is uh, like neatly straight, chin. Uh, make sure your face is outward, and make sure not too stiff like this. Make sure it's here. And then when you're doing the, uh, and then when you're doing the uh, the hammer curls, you want to make sure that this curls has to go up. It's not. It's not going to be downward or 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 outward. It's going to go right up and then come down. Now, once I do once I do the hammer curls, you just need to tighten and, and squeeze your muscle 
So this way you can pump a little more. Yeah, right? This is how things like you keep pumping your body. It's like um, Preacher Curls, but we'll get to that a little later. But as for right now, this is like the same thing. How it is happening. As I, as I keep it going, I make sure it's straight across, up a little more, then come back down. If you have a dumbbell workout parts that, that has the poster, you can do you can do that. Or you probably might or you probably know the exercise a lot more and see which one is best for you. If not, just go for another one. Try one dumbbell at a time and then you could do you ever do a dumbbell at a lot of time. Like some like a separating together. One, two, one, two. Now as you can, you're just gonna do one like this. And then you do with the uh, and then you can do or you can do it together. Anyways, that's it for now. And then the uh, next back exercise will be right next after this. Next exercise, this is called the standing push down. As same thing like a bicep, like a like the part of that you know, the kickback sometimes, but this tricep push down just looks like the same thing, but for the but for your back it's for standing. Unlike the, um, like I did some tricep with the push down, any other one. So you could, you could simply modify that. And then when you uh, do some push down, you just make sure arms are straight. They don't want to be bent like this, like a preacher, like a tricep that you do. And I don't think this is not going to be the right one to use so far. And now this one needs to be uh, like pulling down like this. It's like taking a picture with your iPhone, and you want to make sure you can just make sure that it's straight. And then when you, uh, and then when you do the uh, push down, it's straight down, not here, because that's not going to work with your arms. Your elbows could crack. Sometimes you get some a uh, little little problem with your uh, with your shoulders that much. As for my demonstration, all you do now is hold on to the bar, make sure it's not too wide, or else it will be, uh, or else. Or you could do it that wide. If you do it close enough, that's not going to give you a good chance for your back strong enough. So all I'm just going to do is I'm going to stand back where I was. I'm just going to hold it like this. I don't want to make it too wide because this will be a not right position. I'm going to do that. I pull down. And then when I pull down, I then I come back up. Pull it down. And then come back up. It's like uh, holding the... Um, so it's like a picture of your iPhone. Just, just like that. Pull a little more. Make sure all the way down where your knees are. Pull, pump, and then you can see where, where it hits. Just like that. Boom. But you got this already. You can, you can do it anyway. So that's that. Next bicep exercise will be next. Right after this, don't go away yet. All right, now, this is now time for the preacher curls. Like I always just did. Unlike hammer curls, this one has a little uh, pad to it, so it holds the elbow down without getting overwritten, or, or I meant to say over too tightness because of how the elbows are locked up. And sometimes elbows could have some uh, breaking injuries for some reasons. For those of you, it's not really good for your elbows like that. So you wanna make sure it's on a pad, and try to keep a hold of tight because this is very, very different. As I hold down the preacher curls, I always go down. Make sure all the way enough. If it's better for you, just go to go all the way down and all the way come back up. And you want to make sure you look straight ahead because once you just feel the pressure of your uh, of your shoulder, that's where it comes out. And make sure that the muscle keeps it working for prop from um, moving properly. As for that, I'm just going to keep it going. That is another one that I keep it where it was. And don't forget to keep breathing because sometimes you just uh, lose, some, uh, lose some breathing and then most of the time, you can get enough air in. Make sure your feet is on the ground. Hold straight, posture uh, straight up. And then do it again until you finish it. Squeeze it in. And then by the time it's all done, you just hold it there for three seconds. 
and then you come back up, and then you're all done with the preacher curls. So for that, it's probably a good exercise to use. For that, most and simple. And that, I'm just going to remove this, and I'm going to put it down where it was. If you got this part, you can move it out of the way. For just in case. Now we'll, uh, let's see what the number back exercise is for. And for right now, we'll just finish up with another biceps. So stick with us. Next exercise. This is called the... I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm just saying that unlike the kick uh, tricep kickbacks, this time we're doing the bent over rows. That's right. I'm talking about bent over rows. So it's kind of like the same thing like doing the uh, tricep kickbacks. But this is something different. I'm just going to uh, hold it and I'm just going to look right at the uh, cabinet door and as I move the dumbbells, I go straight down into it and then come back up. The goal is to keep it straight and then, then more uh, flexible is to hold the uh, dumbbells straight. If it's cockeyed, then I will be really low. Now you're going to have to fix it where it was. As I pull it back, try to keep it steady, make sure it's slow. And then once the time you just finish the uh, finish the dumbbells for parts of doing the bent rows, all you have to do after I'm done finishing the counting 14, 14, 15, I lift it down slowly by bending your knees. Do not bend over back because the back is totally not good either. That's very bad things. The whole totally is happening. Or you can do one hand at a time if you want to. This side as well for doing one hand at a time. If you're if you're better than that, you could do two. I know this one's a very good one. Try it yourself and you can try your own best for doing one hand or two hands. Better that simple. Now the back one was completed completed for sore things and now we'll finish it up with the bicep uh, exercises. Next uh, bicep exercise is called the preacher curl. It's called the pulley curl. Pulley curl. Um, like a pulley pole, just like the chain connects and then pushes it through. As my demonstration, this bar needs to be like less, a little bit more, because you're standing right here, this won't be affected um, to reach the really well. But this time, I'm just going to go a little farther and then pull it straight up. Now, when you do the pulley curl, you just wanna make sure that you go upwards and then come downwards like a C. Like a, it's like a shape like a C, but it's a little slightly C as you, when you're doing the pulley curl. Just keep that in mind. Look straight ahead, make sure your hands are tight, and then pull really well. Just like that, and then when you try it out, just do your best as you can. Just like me. And for that, the last uh, bicep uh, curl, and the last bicep uh, exercise is something fancy, the bicep curls. Now, as I uh, lift this thing up already, you know, it comes out straight. Uh, when you're thinking like, um, when you do the bicep curls, this is what things are just about to be doing. As you look straight, you can do one at each time. But my suggestion is, I do two things. So two comes up and then come back. The goal thing is, keep, the, keep your hands tight, calm downwards, make sure the arms are keeping pumped like you did. And sometimes, uh, you haven't seen any Geico commercials that looks like a, a bicep curls or anything. But this is my demonstration for you guys. So uh, as you noticed, um, this is where you have to do double, this is where you're going to have to do single. Just do it well, come back up and down, up and down, up and down. Don't worry, just keep your heart as you breathe, just blow it out, it tense, and now you'll just gain a lot of exercising moments. That's just a good thing to uh, keep the energy alive. And for that, that's how you do.
And then on the final one. Just like that. Anyways, that's all for day three. And for that, that's all we can do to show you the exercise for those of you who are having some trouble lift, lifting the weights and for people not ready to uh, lift yet or doing some fitness yet it's all for yours thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I won't be doing the uh, calf races again since I already did this in uh, day one you can check out my video at uh, day number one for chest and triceps and for that time that should be it Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe um, to my channel. And also, NBA 2K20 will be releasing out really soon once the season starts. The first game will be on September 30th for the preseason. And the tip-off will be on a regular season. I'm not sure which, I'm not sure when, but we'll find out and see if it determines for the NBA game. So anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace out, hope bitches. Until now, for for as a while as day three, back and bicep style. So peace out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a have a great afternoon, everyone.